Okay, so uh, we thought about controllability and observability. So my major is robotics. And in, in robotics, uh, I do I using linear linear system that has robot state, robot x, y, o, robot location, I may say. So robot location, to know the robot location is what I say localization problem. And there is a landmark. First landmark, XY location. And there is second landmark. And there could be many landmarks. Let's say M landmark. Landmark is something, for example, if you want to do the localization in this room, then if you use vacuum, robotics vacuum cleaner, that robotics uh, vacuum cleaner, we use camera looking the ceiling, so ceiling vision, ceiling camera. And it will, it will recognize, the, for example, this kind of lamps. Then lamp number one, lamp number two, lamp number three. So there are a total of 15 lamps in this room. And they will be kind of landmark. So to know those locations of landmark is what we say mapping. So in mobile robotics, uh, what they do is to estimate localization, to estimate robot pose, as well as uh, to estimate the landmark lo lo location is the uh, key problem. That's what we say SLAM. Simultaneous localization and mapping. So, first abbreviation is SLAM, SLAM. So, this is kind of nonlinear system. Some landmark states. This is originally nonlinear system. If it's a nonlinear system, as you know, what we do is linearization. So, we do the linearization. So we have x dot equal to Jacobian, Jacobian A, x plus Jacobian B, U. We get this kind of new state representation. And y is C, x. And using this new state, new state space realization, we estimate those states after making them linear, and we do something, something, something. Historically, historically, many people used for the estimation many people used extended comma filter for the estimation. May, maybe m many of you are still using extended common filter for the state estimation. But it was said that it was said that it's unstable as time goes on. The extended common filter's performance becomes unstable as time goes on. Don't, do not know, didn't know why. So a few papers were published in the around year 2010, a few major papers on the top journal papers were published that something is, some, some problem. There are some problems in doing this kind of realization. But they didn't pinpoint it, what's the problem? They just said that there is specific weird something happens in this case. So those things were case by case approach. But in year, uh, as far as I remember, yeah, it was 
maybe the same time, this paper concluded all the arguments that the reason why it's unstable is because the observability, rank of observability. This paper analytically analyzed. Analytically, I will show, for example, analyze all the things and drive this kind of observability gradient and show that the rank is larger than 1. The rank origin, the system should have rank kind of, let's say, 5. Then the, this system's rank is 6, larger than 1. One more rank. And the paper analyzed that where it comes from. It's coming from I can, uh, I can find it. It's coming from this. This delta. During the linearization, small amount of error is introduced to this linear system, and that makes systems that makes systems observability rank one more higher. So what happened is. This. Uh, what happened is this. Okay, so this is what happened. This upper bound and lower bound is three sigma bound. Three sigma bound means three sigma bound means the adder, the the, the state should remain within these two bounds with the probability of 99%, 99 point, I'm not sure, but maybe 99.9%, .9%, the state should be within this two bound. That's three sigma bound. But in reality, what happened is that the state is within this bound for a while. It's kind of 20 minutes, for example. Long time, long enough time. But after 20 minutes, it's breaking the boundary, and it goes outside the boundary. That means something wrong. This paper analyzed why it's wrong. It's wrong because its boundary is decreasing. Its boundary should not be decreasing. But its boundary is decreasing because the linearization error makes the system that adding one more rank to the system. That means the systems understand that there's additional information from the outside. One information is coming from outside. So because one more information is coming, the confidence should be uh, confidence should be should be strong. My estimation should be strong as time goes on because one more information is coming from the observability matrix. So it's shrinking in this way. But that one more one more information is not from the real one, but from the linearization error. So it's kind of a ghost. It's force force information. So it should not be decreasing. So what this paper introduced is that, OK, then let's constrain the observability matrix rank as one smaller one, forcefully projecting the observability rank into one, one step smaller, forcefully. So it's observability constraining method. So if they do the observability constraining method, apply the observability constraining, then like this, like, this, like this figure, the three sigma bound is not decreasing. It's, it's still, it's not moving, stationary. Then the states are uh, state within those two boundaries for a long time being. So this made, uh, this made the extended common filter far more useful far more useful. Before this time, the extended comma filter was not that much efficient. But after this paper, um, extended comma filter became far more useful. And what happened is that, let me show you one, one YouTube. Uh-uh, I'm sorry. So this group, uh, this group that published this paper, utilize this, this method 
and enabled what we say visual inertial odometry. Visual inertial odometry is using camera and gyroscope and estimating three, three, three D poles of this kind of moving system based on this method. Here it's very stable. It's nice working. Kind of state of the state of the art. So that's how the one nice approach. So if you have some well, some time. I don't think you may have spare time, but if you're, if you still got bored because you have too much time, then reading, the, reading through this paper may be helpful. It's starting from the kinematic mo modeling and notation, define notation very if you, elegantly in driving the observability gradient one by one, and finally proving that its rank is one, one higher than the real one. And suggesting a method how to constrain it and show the result. So this is very, uh, very nice paper. Very nice paper. So uh, Nobel Prize is given for every year, right? So if there is a kind of Nobel Prize for robotics, I will, um, I will just propose it. I will recommend it as one of the strong candidates. Yeah, in the year of 2010. And you know that there will be a Nature Robotics. There will be a Nature Robotics journal. So, you guys also can publish Nature paper. It could be part of Nature Communication Robotics or a new journal, Nature Robotics. Robotics will have a section on either on Nature Communication or new journal, Nature Robotics will be launched soon. I do not know when. Maybe within a few years. Okay, so this is very good paper. And my final remark is using the controllability and observability, we can do common decomposition. The same common, this guy name, common, the same common. Controllable and observable part. Best part. Controllable but not observable part. Okay, I cannot see the inside, but I can control it. Not controllable but observable. I cannot control it, but I can see what's going on. Worst thing, I cannot control it, I cannot see it. Neither controllable nor observable. I can decompose the A matrix in this way. So, best thing, controllable, observable. Controllable, not observable. Not controllable, but observable. Not controllable, neither controllable nor observable. So, And B is controllable, observable. B goes to only controllable part. Controllable, not observable, and nothing, nothing, remaining part. And Y is only observable part. C, controllable and observable. And C, not controllable but observable.
here, the red part, by extracting just the red part, one good news is that they are zero state equil equil equivalent, zero state equivalent to the original system, as well as they have the same transfer function. So given relaxed initial condition, if we extract those red things, we can represent the system minimally. So this is what we say minimal realization, as I introduced, as I said in the beginning of the class. With the same transfer function with the original system. And chapter 7 is, begins with the minimal representation. And other topics are given, chapter 8, chapter 9, blah, 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 blah. That will be covered in another lecture. So this lecture coverage is up to chapter 6. And in chapter 6, we saw what's the controllability, what's the observability, and how to use them for the decomposition, and wrap up chapter 6 with the common decomposition. So this is end of uh, this semester's linear system.